What's up guys? Welcome to yet another great episode here at TechEd and we are um, we are amazed, we are proud, we are elated to get to bring you the Oppo Reno 6 5G. This is an amazing phone. Let me tell you, she is a beaut. I have here with me the Aurora and let me tell you, she's a beaut. I know for most guys, this might not really look good for you. So there's the starry black and it's more of a matte black finish. Uh, but let me tell you, the Aurora silver is amazing. You know, it, 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 the hues, the way it blends, it's amazing. And one of the things that they've actually changed in the Oppo Reno 6, number one is the design. Just look at how the phone stands on its flat edges by itself. Let me tell you, this is a wonderful phone and I have been waiting for you and you're finally here. Now, this is an amazing phone and one of the things that I love totally just outside the box is the design. I love the new uh, flat edges kind of design. It's not the curvy uh, phone like the Oppo Reno uh, 5 was. So one of the things that have, they have totally changed is the design. The design is a bit different. I like how they've accentuated the buttons, you know, the power button with the green thing inside there, the volume rocker, they are more clicky and more uh, versatile. Uh, I like the fact that they've actually taken the SIM card uh, down here. So you actually have to put your SIM card tray down below you have the cut out antenna lines because of 5g uh that's basically what they are these white things they are the 5g antennas all over the phone uh this phone comes with a usb type c it comes with a 65 watt power brick so this is super vook to the max i tell you this phone charges in in quite an outstanding under 30 minutes charged to full. You have your uh, speaker grill down here. And, and you know, just that boxy design is comfortable to hold. It's, it's just Porsche just to have there. And so what are some of the amazing specs that the Oppo Reno 6 5G comes in? You know, it has your 90 Hertz, uh, 6.43 inches display. So it's a massive display with a front uh, cutout for the selfie camera. Uh, it is, 1080 by 2400 pixels, so it's your full HD plus display with Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Uh, comes with Android 11 with ColorOS 11.3 out the box. It is powered. Now, this is one of the things that I was looking, really looking forward to experience on the Oppo Reno 6. It's powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 900 5G chipset. These are 6 nanometer processor, so it means, you know, Ideally, you're getting better performance with the Oppo Reno 6. It's an octa-core, you know, with your Mali, all your amazing things. There's the 8 GB and 12 GB RAM option. And as is the current marketing strategy for Oppo right now, it comes with RAM expansion. So you can expand your RAM from the 8 GB that it has internally by 2, 3, or 5 to make it either 10, 11, or 13 of RAM. And the, the extra you get through RAM expansion. It comes with your triple camera array, your 64 megapixel main camera, your 8 megapixel ultra wide, your 2 megapixel macro camera with dual LED flash. It's capable of recording 4K video at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second. The front selfie shooter is 32 megapixel and uh, it's able to shoot 1080p video. So Comes with all your niceties, loudspeaker. Now, the other thing that I've noticed about the Oppo Reno 6, they have finally ditched the 3.5 mm jack. And uh, ideally, that's why with pre-order, you actually get yourself the Oppo Enco free, uh, the actually Oppo Enco earbuds. So with the pre-order, you actually get your Oppo Enco earbuds. So you'll get to enjoy that wireless, your truly wireless experience. And I'm happy. And in one, one way, ditching the 3.5 mm jack is a bummer for many people. But for me, it actually is pushing us to the adoption of TWS earphones, which means you no longer have to struggle with wires. You just get to enjoy that wireless experience. 
uh, you know, it has your Wi-Fi 6. That's another interesting thing about the Oppo Reno 6. It comes with a Wi-Fi 6 standard. So if you use your phone as a hotspot, you actually get to enjoy faster Wi-Fi because it's powered by Wi-Fi 6. Bluetooth 5.2, that's an upgrade over many of the Bluetooth versions out there. Comes with NFC, comes with a USB type C 3.1 and a 4,300 mAh battery with 65 watt charging. That's your Oppo Reno 6. And let me just say, again, this design is spectacular. I love the feel of the back. Number one, the way the light bounces on it and it gives you different gradients. This is different from the Oppo Reno 5. You know, it, ideally, you could also feel the, the texture on the Oppo Reno 5. With this, they've added a, quite a number of complex layers, so it gives you a more different, visually appealing design. This is a beaut, and I can't, get, I can't wait to truly test this phone out. I've been having it since launch which is about for a week now, and I can't wait to just dive in and enjoy this phone and give you my thoughts. So uh, if, if you're out there, you're looking for a, a new phone, I'd recommend you guys to also begin to look at the Oppo Reno 6. Now, one of the things that the Oppo Reno 6 has, just before we round this off, is that it is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 900 chipset, which is 5G capable. Now, the phone is 5G capable, but outside the box, it uh, it does not support 5G. And Oppo Kenya have promised to uh, send out an update by October that unlocks the 5G capability of the Oppo Reno 5. So until then, keep it taken. Peace out. Good. What's up, my giggle? Ah! What's up, my giggle? What? My giggle.